Good morning, modern steaders. It's a nice brisk 60 degrees out this morning. It's better than the 40s it was last week, but they're calling for 40s again this week, low 40s. So I hope we don't get a frost anytime soon. Good morning, chickens. We still have way too much food we want to grow in our gardens. Go under. Morning, moose. I haven't heard or seen from Maverick and Goose, so unfortunately, they're not coming back to the homestead. We've searched and searched and searched. We haven't found any feathers or anything, so I don't know if a predator got them and took off with them, or if they took off, got in the brook and left, or wanted to go south for some warmer weather this winter. I'm not sure. We're gonna work more today in the garage kit that we got from Jamaica Cottage Shops. Links to them in the video description down below. But we're supposed to be getting thunderstorms later today, so I'm not sure how far we're gonna get before that all rolls in. So we're gonna have to keep an eye on the weather and see what happens. But first, we gotta do all of our animal chores. It's nice and foggy on the homestead this morning. The pigs are still napping. What are you ladies doing, huh? I see they didn't eat all their apples. We're working on making our apple flavored bacon like we do every year. Oh, it sounds like our meat birds must have eaten all their grain last night and finished up all their water. You can hear them chirping. And if you pay attention, their different noises means different things. So you're all out of water. And your food is just about gone. Morning. Morning. They're calling for thunderstorms today. Feels weird out. It does, doesn't it? It's like a cold stickiness. Got to make Buttercup her morning cereal bowl. So I haven't seen any more mouse turds lately. I wonder if Figaro got the mouse outside. I found one, but I didn't know if it's new or old. So. We'll say it's old. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. We had it. You ready? I'll give you your bowl after we get ready. Ready? Here you go. Did you eat all your grain? You did, you little piggy. You gotta wait till we go out. You can have some more alfalfa. Done. You all done? Hold them back the rest of your milk for ivy. It doesn't seem like you got big all of a sudden. You ready? We'll go get a second breakfast now. You know what? All you got left in there is dust. Good morning, Hope, Ivy, Nora. Buttercup's got her apple. There you go, Nora. You want a little bite out of the old scooper dupe? You too, Hope? Yeah. There you go. I am assuming one of the goats must have ate a sunflower seed, pooped it out right here, and now we got a sunflower growing up in the middle of the pasture. I wonder if they'll eat that or if they'll let that grow high enough and we'll get a flower out of it this year. I'll have to keep an eye on it. Gotta go run up and get the boys a bill of hay. 
they're getting into their rut season, so they're getting pretty stinky. I want to put a whole bale of hay in their feeder, so the least amount of time I got to go in there and smell them. <laughs> building the new garage. We need a place to store hay in the winter time. Gina's sunflowers are coming up nicely over here in the pig garden. Those are looking beautiful. For this part, I am always a little... <clears throat> My voice is cracking. Whew. I'm always a little leery when I'm first getting it done. We gotta drill into our concrete piers to put the anchor bolts in to hold everything in place. So we're gonna get started on the back. I'm gonna put two anchor bolts in per pier and that'll hold it nice and securely. So we're gonna do a little pre-drilling of our six by sixes, because I'm never able to find long enough anchor bolts to go all the way through the six by six and into the pier. Most of the time when you're doing anchor bolts, you're doing it into a two by six or a two by eight, so inch and a half thick, not five and a half inches thick. So we're going to use, we're gonna countersink and have the anchor bolts recessed in the six by sixes. We did that on the barn build and it worked perfectly. So we're gonna do the same thing here, but I wanna go around, I wanna mark a couple of them first and figure out my calculations. So I wanna go here, right here, and right here. So we're going to drill each hole in two phases. I have an inch and a quarter drill bit here, Forstner bit, and that is wider than my washer and wider than my socket. I'm going to bury our Forstner bit all the way down. This is three inches and that's what we need to go. We're centered. using Forstner bits. They give a nice clean hole and they drill easy as long as they're sharp. All right so now we'll go get the Hilti set up and we'll drill that out. All right so I always borrow a Hilti drill gun. You could use a hammer drill gun but this is going to go a lot quicker and make the job a lot easier for us. Eight and a quarter. It's gonna be right there. So almost as deep as the threads on the bit. That should be it close. Eight and a half. So perfect. I just mark it with a piece of tape. So this way when we're drilling, I don't have to keep taking a tape measure and seeing how deep we went. Center it in that hole the best we can.
There we go. There, oops. Oopsies. There we go, I like that. Two down, 18 more to go. So what I just learned from that first one is we want to drill out all the way through the 6x6 after the 5 inch hole. Put three in the corners just because we can but we'll do two at first and we'll see how that is and we have enough so we can do three we can do one two three and the corners would be anchored really good kind of where there's a chunk of metal in that wood that destroyed our bit. I want to make sure it's not in the center. So I'm going to use a different bit so if I ruin one, I'm not ruining the good one. Because I don't want to use the healthy bit in this hole if the metal's in the center. Oh, we're good.
one. This corner's not going to go anywhere. Nice. A little sweaty. It's a pain when they get on your glasses. There. Sweat drips.
All right, so we got the two ones we gotta do up front, but we gotta run a line from here to there to make sure they're in line with this. And then we'll, we'll come back and we'll drill this hole into the concrete. Almost there, five more holes to drill. Pretty close just by eyeballing it. Perfect. I'm going to drill one anchor hole. I'll put one in each side. And then I'll go back and I'll do the second hole in each one. That way they don't move on me when I'm doing the second hole. They'll be held in place. I can see them moving pretty easy. The river's winding round words in my head. Shivering pines say that summer is dead. Yes, please, hollow in my hands. I like that right there. That looks good. Perfect. All right, I'll go get the other one done. It's a lot easier to start it like this and already have the nut and washer through the six by six versus trying to um, Get the nut and washer in when it, that bolts all the way down. That was a bit of a pain. I like that. more holes with the healthy and we'll be good.
next. Oh yeah, I didn't go in nowhere. When do I get to use a nail gun? Pretty soon. This is the foundation. The foundation's all done, so now we get to stop putting our post stuff on it. I will say, it feels, gonna, it feels good having this part done. I don't enjoy this stage of having to drill into all the concrete. But, she's done and she's secure now. Now we can move on to the next part. How many eggs do you think today? About 10. 10? I well, think 12, and Olivia says 11. Well, where are we just trying one feet? No, we're doing all coops. Oh, all coops? I think we're doing 14. 14? Okay. All, like all together. All together. It's been a few days since we've collected eggs on camera. How many eggs do you guys think we're going to get today? <laughs> Look at all the chicken butts. Two. Four. One was broken, so it don't count. None under her. How many are you sitting on? None. So two, four, six, eight so far. Is that a good apple blossom? Oop. Making apple juice. Was that good? Looks like it took a little bit of effort. How many eggs? You dropped one in the bucket. How many ears of corn do we need for dinner tonight? Six? Six. It's creaky sounding. Yeah. That one looks mighty tasty. Ooh, those kernels look nice. Oh, that's yellow too. Mmm, smells good too. Perfect. Gonna have some good dinner tonight. The thunderstorm's getting ready to roll in. I'm glad we got the sill plates all down, bolted up, and now we can move on to the next phase in the next video, as long as it's not raining tomorrow. It feels good. This is where we're gonna end today's video. I know it's getting pretty long, so thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey with us. You're a huge blessing to us in our homestead, and we'll see you right back here in the next video. Bye.